Oh, good morning. Good morning. Oh, February 5th. February 5th, 2016. Well, when I was just a little bitty kid, I remember one time Mama said that he sent you all of his love from Frisco Bay. I didn't understand till I was grown when my daddy didn't spend... Oh, yeah. Well, good morning, everybody. We are... Leaving, I guess the name of this town is Bensonville. But if you remember, I said we're gonna uh, we parked at the Thornton. <laughs> uh, well, you know, when uh, when John said after I'm done with that last load, I could park and go to bed, I got to thinking about that, and I'm looking in into that area where I'll, I'll be parking and thinking wow well it's up there by first of all it's up there by milwaukee uh and there are truck stops there it, like 333 or something like that but it's not going to be easy to park it, it's not easy to park when it's late it really it's not and uh i think of course i did pull in here i got me uh well, I took uh, Jake and Pooh out. And it just hit me, you know, like, boom, like a rock, you know. All of a sudden, I got tired. So, I did call John, and it is a mail load, so, or junk mail load, or however you want to call it. But, it, it had plenty of time, so. So we decided to just get a good night's sleep. We had a place there to park. Now we're leaving. We're going to go to Oak Grove, Wisconsin. Now we're going to deliver a load. John should be able to find me a load. I should be able to keep going. It is Friday, guys. Sure is. A slow light. Busy intersection. Sometimes we get right on the interstate, sometimes we don't. We can make our turn as soon as that car gets his turn made. There we go. All right. Third, oh, okay. 2.7 miles. I think it's trying to steer me up on the, uh, I think on the toll road, I think. Nice thing though, we only got one delivery and they don't have many skids, so we should be able to get right up there, get them off. This is a uh, highway 83 north. I 
I just started the truck, so I turned down the fan, the heater. Now I think we can turn her up now. Yep, and I just got a thing saying I got low windshield wash. So I'm going to have to be getting some. Use a lot of that stuff, man, I'm telling you. Anyway, let's get her on down the road, guys. Let's show you what we can today, and thank you for riding along, and uh, let's have ourselves a good day today. Alrighty, we are on 90 now, and I discovered something here, and I know this has been talked about before, but uh, this is a construction zone. And it's only a 45 mile an hour construction zone. And I'm actually doing uh, 47 miles an hour. Now, I, you know, I'm starting to understand that I don't think it's really so much. I, I think, how can I say this without you guys thinking I'm, uh, but there's not one vehicle that is actually doing that speed limit in this construction zone. And it says it's a $375 fine if you get caught going over 45. Here's a sign right up here telling you that. See, it says speed limit 45 work zone, 375 fine um, minimum. That's the minimum. Of course, I haven't seen any police out here I haven't seen no state troopers or nothing like that okay we gotta move over Rhonda's gonna keep talking and keep talking uh, but 375 minimum fine now of course it would take how many troopers to stop but it's almost like the the state of Illinois can get themselves out of their uh, 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 crisis as far as money problems. All they have to do is sit right there, and they can be pulling over car after car after car, because nobody is doing the speed limit for that construction zone. And all right, anyway, I'm back. Sorry about that. Two phone call, two phone calls. <laughs> uh, sometimes I just want to shut that phone off. But uh, anyway, I can't do that though. Really, I can't. Uh, but what was I saying? Oh yeah, the 375 minimum fine. Uh, nobody was actually doing that through that road construction. It's it to me, it's just totally amazing, you know. And they got that. Uh, what is that? Uh, Ten thousand dollar fine, fourteen years in in prison if you actually run over a construction worker but yet their signs are being ignored as it, it looks like to me that the state of Illinois is is really no threat to the motorist out here I just find that kind of funny myself I do the well, I went like a couple miles over that speed limit, but still the same, you know. They put that speed limit sign there for a reason. I know some people say, oh, it's kind of slow. I don't understand. Why do they do that? Well, it's not us to question, I guess. It's just us to obey the law and the rules of the road. It was always like that whenever I went into it, when I first took my driver's test, you know for the first time driving a car you know I had to study a a book and I had to pass the test in order to get a just a regular operator driver's license at the age of 16 I just think people are just too much in a big hurry to get where they're going when I first started driving, I'm not saying people didn't really speed, but there wasn't as much of it. And when a car was speeding, you can almost guarantee it was a cop, you know. 
because they would do five or a little more over that limit to stay ahead of the traffic so they can keep an eye on it now today everybody's a cop even this guy in this truck is a cop because <laughs> everybody is uh I guess what I'm trying to say is, and this is my thought, is nobody really obeys the rules and the regulations of the highway. They, people don't know how to yield. They don't know how to merge. They want to cut off big trucks. There are more accidents, it seems like. And I know we got more traffic out here, and that's part of the reason. But as an observer out here, as a driver... And somebody, you know, I, I, I do remember one time somebody said, you know, I need to mind my own business. But when I'm on this highway, this is my business. It's my safety. It's the safety of everybody out there. It's my safety. It should be your safety as well. It, it, it's, you know, because it's your, your safety that is actually uh, uh, being jeopardized as well. You only live once in life. That's it. I mean, you got unless you get lucky and somebody pulls you out from the uh, from the Grin, uh, grin uh, Reaper. You only get one chance in life, man. And once it's over, you're gone. You, you're not coming back. You're done. You're history. What's it going to say on your tombstone? It's going to say, "Oh, I, I lost my life because I was in a hurry. I wanted to get the Dunkin' Donut." Or I had to uh, make, I, I had to make an appointment. I or you know you had to meet up with an appointment. You could not be late. That was your reasoning for having to speed, you know, or drive recklessly. Or that's silly, you know. Personally, myself, I like life. I love life, and and, and I value my life more. And I do anything else. Uh, I value my life more than a load. I value my life more, more than any appointment that I could, uh, that I'm on the way to go get. You, you can always reset an appointment, but you can't reset your life. Just everybody's in a hurry. I just observe this all the time. Every time I'm driving, I'm just watching everybody in a hurry. They gotta go. They gotta go. And they call it an accident if there is one. I, I don't really see that as an accident. There's another word. Uh, there's an accident and a purpose. And if you know you're driving faster than the actual limit. And you're doing stuff that you know that can get you hurt or somebody else. Then I call that a purpose. That's not an accident. An accident is when you're driving the speed limit and somebody tagged you. Okay, that's an accident. You didn't see it coming. He didn't mean for it to happen. But the person who actually did actually did hit you uh, because they were driving recklessly, that's not an accident to me. That's a purpose. You can give me all the thumbs down you want. Don't care. That's my feeling about it. Everybody needs to start slowing down and thinking about bef before they start putting their foot on that accelerator. And giving it all hell and not caring about n nobody but themselves. It's about themselves. That's, I think that's what it is. They're not thinking about nobody else. They're thinking about themselves only. And it puts everybody in harm's way. Anyway, I had to get that off my chest. And, and, and it's the truth. It is the honest to God truth of what I'm saying here. Well, guys, we are in Wisconsin. Yes, we are. I guess the speed limit did go up, didn't it? I got the cruise set to what Illinois was. Well, guys, we are six miles to our delivery. Got to turn on exit 322. We're three miles to our turn off this road anyway.
Not bad up here. It's 29 degrees according to the thermometer. That's Fahrenheit. Wisconsin 100. Hate passing the truck on his right side. I really do. That's his blind side. But yet he proceeds in driving in that center lane. So oh, we'll just back off. We gotta turn up here anyway in a mile, so. Yeah. Turning right up here. Thank you, Rhonda. Hey, there's a Loves right here. Might be where we got to park when we're done, because John still ain't got a load for me. There's a quick uh, trip as well. We got a couple places we can park. We better slow down, 30 mile an hour. We don't want to flip our truck over, right? McDonald's got some parking too. Oh, I mean, that means I gotta get right over to that left lane immediately. That's a two left turning lane. Well, that's a loud turn signal, ain't it? <coughs> Excuse me. I think we got her now. Yes, we do. Just around the corner from the... <laughs> we gotta turn right here. Uh, quick trip here. I don't know if they got truck parking, but looks like they may. You gotta go right up here. Left side. Really, Rhonda? See how correct she is. 
She says it's going to be on the left side. Seventy-six twenty. That's seventy-six forty-one. It's not going to be on the left side, Rhonda. It's going to be on the right side. Boy, oh boy, she's off base. And I believe that's it right there. Yeah, we had to go up the road and turn around. That's it right there. I just passed the entrance, which is right up here. It ain't right here. It, it's got to be right here. Yep. Oh, right here. See, I'm about to pass it again. I was just about to turn into that drive next to this drive. Alrighty. We are empty. And John doesn't have me a load yet, so... I saw a love somewhere. Well, this used to be a flying J. You guys want to guess what it is now? It is a loves. But it used to be a flying J. Huh. Pretty cool. Well, we'll just... I just saw something. <coughs> I feel lazy today, man. I don't want to back into no hole. I want to just pull through. Yeah, I know. <sighs> Nothing wrong with that, though. I mean, this time of day, I should be able to find something like that. But if not, we're going to back in. <laughs> yeah. Not exactly. Yeah, it is a pull through. And we're not taking the corner neither, because I don't want to take have my nose taken off. <coughs> we'll be back. Gotta go inside and get me a shower, get me something to eat. Oh yeah. Hey, <coughs> when you have to wait for a load, you might as well shower. Yeah. That way when I take my 10 hour break, I don't have to do it. I have more time to render a video. Right? Right. We'll be right back. All right, here. Here's a pervert shot. I'm showing you a bathroom. Yeah. You think they're gonna follow me out to my truck? Oh, wait a minute. I'm showing you a shower too. Oh boy. I'm really gonna get in trouble now. Let's just show the whole room. I guess if they're gonna really get to me, they're gonna have to really come after me, right? Looky there. And you guys didn't think I was famous? I have a fan actually in the shower with me. <laughs> oh, man. Hi, guys. Yes. Time for a shower. Be right back. Look at there, guys. It's a nice looking bike. It's a Harley. Look at there. That is a nice looking bike. Nice looking bike they're selling. Oh, this is the house of Harley Davidson. This is at the uh, Flying J here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
I like that, man. There's our breakfast, guys. Oh, yeah. We'll be right back. We're going to eat. Oh, we got the boys out now. Yeah, got us a decent shower. Got us a great meal. Got the boys out. We're still waiting for a load. This doesn't happen very often if John can't find something. Hey, Jay. Let's go up here. Jay, up here. Anyway, keep you guys up. I'm going to bet you he's going to deadhead me to Illinois. You watch. Something's going to happen, so keep you guys up. Well, guys, it is the very next day. It's Saturday morning, actually. And uh, we are uh, currently, uh, we're still waiting for a load. Yeah. Um, <laughs> John can't find us a load. He did tell me if I wanted to, I could uh, deadhead uh, to uh, Kankakee, drop my wagon, and bobtail home. But I get paid on miles, uh, especially when I'm under a load as well. So... And I told him I would just hang loose because he might still find something, you know. And uh, so I'm hanging loose too. But we're still at this uh, Love's, and uh, we got the doggies. Oh, Pooh Bear sleeping. Yeah. Oh, Jake is just being as silly as he can be. Yep. But we, uh, I don't know what I'm going to show you today. I really don't. Uh, it's easier to show you guys something when I'm driving than it is when I'm not driving because, I don't know. I'll be creative. I'll figure out something. But uh, but it is the next day. It was Friday when we parked here, and, uh, and it's Saturday. But anyway, with that being said, I do want to thank you guys. I know the video was late today. Uh, I had a little bit of an issue with the Internet. But we got that solved as well. You guys know that because you just saw the video. But uh, I want to thank you guys for following and uh, and being with the Trucker Jukebox. You know, we've been uh, doing YouTube for a little over two years now. And uh, I don't do it for the numbers. I don't care about that. I just do it because I like doing it. And uh, I don't have the fear of somebody... My company doesn't care. They really don't care. Um, and it's just like uh, what uh, Doug Marquardt told me on the phone. And, uh, and they watch my videos. So what I'm saying here and you guys are watching, they're watching as well. But if you're going to uh, call my company or something and say that I'm doing something, like Doug said, you better have video on it. Because I have video on everything, you know. Uh, it ain't just the GoPros, it ain't just the, uh, 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 but we have uh, another camera that is always uh, going. So, uh, I don't use that footage in my videos, but, uh, but like he said, if you're going to turn me in, you better have video on it, because uh, they're not going to listen to you. Or you better have a police report, or you better have a cop pull me over, because that is what you're going to have to have in order to to get me in trouble because Doug says you're a fine driver I have an excellent record and I don't drive recklessly and uh, they're going to take my word over your word so you better have proof and uh, when he said that that just made me feel good and uh, Doug Marquardt if you are watching this thank you thank you because there's a lot of drivers out there that are uh, just continuing their videos because they're afraid that they're going to lose their jobs because of some hater out there that is actually uh, uh, trying to make that happen and uh, your reputation is uh, the best that you can have and when it comes to that so again thank you Mark Hort. but anyway we're out of here we want to thank you guys for watching God bless you all and we will see you. We'll have something. We'll make something happen. So, But we'll see you guys come tomorrow morning. Uh, hopefully by 4 a.m. if there's a video. So with that being said, see ya. Catch you later. Later.